What's up everybody, Tendo here, check this out. I am getting some organization in the game room done. It's kind of complicated, but we have a really big sales day coming up at one of our toy booths where we resell toys. I've been told by the owners there that like Spider-Man and Spider-Gwen are gonna be there to take pictures with kids. It's gonna be a huge kid attraction, so I've been told to make sure that I get my booth nice and stocked so that I can sell, they said I'll sell everything. I think that's a bit of an over-exaggeration, but I do wanna make sure I have plenty of Nerf guns, et cetera, et cetera. In my toy booth before the weekend gets here so that I can make sure to sell a bunch. But I keep running into a small little problem. I keep running across Nerf guns that I kind of want to keep. It's it's an ongoing problem. Let me show you why I want to keep this one real quick. It's ridiculous. Hey Hannah! Oh, Boom! Here, your turn. Do you know how to work it? Yeah. Here, shoot these guys in the face right here. Can you hit it? Oh my god, she's gonna hit me. Ah! Not even close! No, what? Where, where did that even go? <laughs> Well, you got closer that time. Listen, um, that is such a cool Nerf gun. It's like, I, I only keep one Nerf gun that's mine, and I'm thinking about taking on a second one because that one's so cool. But guys, stick around because Hannah's going to get some stuff priced for, for you know eBay sales and stuff. We're going to go drop that off, and then we'll go get the toy booth restocked. Right here, rolly carts full of stuff I need to put price tags on. And then after that, we'll do some thrifting. It's going to be fun. Stick around. I summon... Blue eyes, white dragon! That's a Pokemon card, dum dum. Who are you calling dum dum? Devil woman! Ah! So let me tell you how just about every one of my days starts these days. I wake up, I get something to eat, and then I come here into the game room to the rolly cart, which is how we bring home everything that we bought at the thrift from the previous day. And I put stuff away. Kind of boring, but it has to be done or else we end up with piles and piles of stuff because, you know, we sell, some days we sell five or six pairs of jeans a day. So usually we buy a week's worth of stock from the Goodwill bins all at once. Uh, but this stuff has to be put away. We have to measure it, we have to post it, et cetera, et cetera. So this stuff goes to the other room and it just goes on like this. Nerf guns. I had been keeping Nerf guns in the other room, but I've, you can only see one of them, but I put up some new shelves with baskets for sorting, and uh, this is stuff that needs to be priced to go to the toy booth, so I'll put this over here. And then, I'm actually ready to price this stuff just about right now, but t-shirts for my toy booth, I'm hoping on that big sales day that I was talking about, I'm hoping to sell out of these t-shirts. Be a nice little profit, because I'm spending a quarter a piece, you know? I'm selling them for five. They've been selling well, but I'd like to see them all go on that day. And then again, just more stuff that needs to be put away from the thrift. Some tools that I bought. That's gonna get a price tag on it though. I don't think I'm gonna take this to the toy booth that I've been talking about, the one that we're gonna restock today. I think I'm gonna just file this away and take it to the other toy booth because it's kind of vintage plushy. It does better across town than it does over here. How much shipping do you have to do? All of it. All of it? Like how many? Rough estimate. Ah, uh, 20. 20? It's a 20, 25 package kind of day, which is not, you know, it's not crazy, but it does take a good little while to get that many labels printed out. Before I get started working too hard real quick, I want to show you something. See this itty bitty little TV right here? It's like, it, it's just, it's tiny. It's got a VHS player built into it, bought it on an episode yesterday, day before. Just a couple days ago, I can't remember what it was. It's all blurring together. I think it was yesterday, but it's got a VHS player on it. I'm gonna grab a VHS to put on it so I can watch and listen while I work in this beautiful, majestic yellow room. This is a Toys R Us promo VHS. It was pretty cool because when I found this on the channel the other day, a bunch of you guys over on our Discord posted other Toys R Us VHS promos. And it was awesome to see all of them. Another reason why you should join the Discord if you haven't already because that stuff is awesome. It's real awesome to see. But let's get this bad boy pumping and see what's on it. Let's give it a old play. I think it's at the beginning, so we'll just go ahead and go right into fast forward. Get over the black space. Let's go. Leave a sneak peek about a phenomenon called Pokemon, a hit TV oh. show, a Game Boy game, and loads of other cool things that are about to take America by storm. That's awesome. That's so awesome. So that must have straight up been a promo before uh, Pokemon even hit the states. 
Man, that's so cool to have. I love those. Uh, and just in case you haven't joined our Discord yet, if you've got any more of these weird little promos, go to the Discord and share them. Let's see them all. I want to know what the whole collection looks like. You know what I'm saying? Get you up. Mix you up a little bit. Is it water-based paint? Uh, I don't know. I'd have to look. I think it's latex, actually. All right, see you. Right. That was my father. We were talking about painting shells because it almost fell over. Because what are dads for? All right, check this out. Here's one of the biggest things I've got to do to get all my pricing for our resale booth done. See this big bag? It's a bunch of bags of 10 Pokemon cards and a bunch of magic cards. And there's a few uh, World of Warcraft trading cards in there as well. These are maybe not my biggest seller, maybe second or third biggest seller in our toy booth. Everything, every one of these that I put into my toy booth will likely be gone within the next week, week and a half, especially the Pokemon cards. The magic cards go, but it's usually one person that comes in and buys them all. But every kid that comes past our booth gets Pokemon cards. So what I've got to do though, is I've got to get these bad boys labels price tags. So since there's just a hundred of those, I'll print those out. A lot of the just smaller, more individual items that we sell in our toy booth, we'll hand make the label. But when I've got to do a hundred or something, I'm going to print them out. So, uh, and the best, I'll tell you the best thing about this. Let me find the right paper. The absolute best part about this is that I find so much of these labels at the Goodwill for a dollar. I paid $2.49 for this, and uh, now I got that half off, so it was even less. And it's just, I don't know how many labels are in there total, a thousand, something like that. So we pretty much don't pay much to make these labels at all. And even better, I get my ink refills at the Goodwill bin, so I pay for none of this stuff, just next to nothing. And then all we gotta do is plop that bad boy right on there and we've got Pokemon cards to sell. So since I'm working on the trading card thing, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make a better way to display my trading cards for sale in my toy booth. Uh, I've just kind of been tossing them in my toy booth right now, it's not really a pretty thing. But I've designed a little, little sign to put on the front of my trading card basket. I'll print it out real quick and then I'll show it to you. Printy, print, print, printy, print, print. There you go. Trading cards with all the Pokemon backs. I made three of them, so there's A, spares, but B for my other toy booths. But now I attach that label to this here yellow basket and I'll have a beautiful little trading card display. Now I get to use one of my absolute favoritest tools in the entirety of my workshop. You know what that is? It is the ye old X-Acto blade. Never lets me down, ever. And then this, I'll tell you, I'm thinking about attaching it with a little lip. So just leaving like, I don't know. There's no great place to glue anything onto that basket. So I think I'm just gonna give it one of these. Give it a lip, fold it over, and then just glue that strip onto the basket. I don't know though, we'll see. I could also just glue it back there, but this is kind of gonna sit in the shelf. I don't think this can be very prevalent, so. Let's do the foldy method and see, see how it goes. You know the old foldy method? Hannah, you know the foldy method? Sure. <laughs> she knows when we're just making stuff up. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with the foldy method. I think that'll look good. Let's get a little glue on there. BRB, I gotta get the glue. My second favorite tool, spray glue. I use it for everything and I'm about to make a giant mess. It's a little cloggy. Oh, that's a lot of glue. It's a lot of glue right there. And then we'll get it on there, we'll let it dry, and then I'll bend it back into a proper angle for display. I don't know, this, this plastic may not like this glue too much. I didn't really rough it up any, but I think it's gonna be all right. Trading card basket. And check it out, trading card basket full of Pokemon cards. Some things, not everything, I like to just mix up in my toy booth. So like, here's a bunch of magic cards, just all mixed in there together. I like to encourage the digging. Mix them in good, buy a little bit of everything, you know what I mean? How about that? All right. I'm very happy with that. We are at the post office now. It is a two Ikea bag kind of day. You can take this one, and I got this one. It's a two bagger kind of day, cheers. <laughs> we'll check this P.O. box while we're here. Ooh. 
It's number 93, right here by. That might be the first time I've ever gotten that key right on the first time. Ooh, big box. This is from, it's from Andrew, Andrew in Texas. Yay! Stick around at the end of the video, we'll get this here package opened up. I don't know what's gonna be in here, but I'm excited. Check it out, we've got a cart full of stuff to restock at our antique store. And there's a lot of stuff that we didn't really get done today that I would have liked to have, but uh, we just kind of ran out of time. It's crunch time. But the big sale days here aren't until two or three days from now, so we'll come back again a little bit later this week. I just want to make sure I'm not missing any video games that need to go in there now or any Nerf guns. I think we're good. I think we got everything. Uh, so let's get in there. Let's get restocked. And then we'll go to the thrift store, so stick around. All right, it's restocking time. It always amazes me what gets moved around and why. Like someone moved my Nerf box. Megazord. I've sold several of those at my other toy booth. Never sold one here, so we'll see how that goes here. The beautiful game color bag. Where do I put that at? Into my clothes rack, maybe? The inbox for mine is awesome. It is just in time because I sold one of my two of my Harry Potter things. So that's good. I'm just realizing now as I'm doing this that uh, I brought some new clothes to hang up, didn't bring hangers. The thing I'm most excited about today. And then also, I gotta figure out where they are. Here they are. I brought just a couple to refill the Lego cups here. Gotta get those stacked up because those have been selling. The little ones have, not so much the big ones. I have sold a couple cases though, and that's, those are the real money makers. So I brought some refills of those today. Okay, reloaded on Lego stuff, that's good. Hopefully that stuff sells well this weekend, I'll be happy. I'll tell you something I'm a little bit bummed that I haven't done better on restocking is the name brand Thomas the Tank stuff. Uh, this aftermarket stuff made by other people, that's a lot of that's still here, but the actual Thomas the Tank stuff with the faces on it has almost all entirely sold. It all sold pretty quick. But I'm not too surprised I don't have a lot more of it now because it's all Ben's find. Every, everything Thomas the Tank there that is branded pretty much came from the Goodwill Ben's and we haven't had enough time to really get back into that. But uh, I'm excited about the trading cards here. Though I don't like where it's at, but this is too high to dig through. It's eye level with me and I'm only seven foot tall, so that's not gonna work for the reg people. I don't like putting good stuff on these shelves back here because it gets blocked out. So we're just gonna leave it there for now, see how it goes and uh, hope for the best. Also, I need to get a little refill on some of these stickers. I didn't notice they were that low. Well, they weren't. I know what it was. It was we had a couple days in a row with like 30, 40 stickers purchased at once. One person, 30 something stickers. I mean, I'm not complaining, but uh, yeah, it's good. I need more Harry Potter stuff. It's selling okay. Uh, but let's go check on Hannah's booth before we get out of here. All right, looking at the state of my booth. It's looking, it's looking good, but we do have a giant hole there. I sold like a hundred dollars worth of Corningware cook pots, those like amber dishes that are there. Those have been doing really well here and I'm very excited about it, but I've got a little bit of cooking stuff and some Tupperware to put in the booth. So I'm gonna get to that and then we'll talk about what I just added. Check this out. It looks like someone made this sign for me. Lemonade. Tell me I don't need that. We need to hang that up at the house. Okay, I just had a few things to put up. It really wasn't much at all, but I got these little teal enamel dishes. It's so funny, in the in the camera, it looks blue, but it's definitely like a teal turquoise color. I don't understand it, but it is. I got this little Tabasco cutie. I'm very excited about that. I hope someone's just like, oh my God, that's the cutest little pie ever, and just gets it on impulse, because that's what I did. Um, <laughs> This is probably the thing I'm most excited about. I've been talking about making some recycled candles for forever now, and I've just been picking them up and building up a bunch of stock for it and haven't gotten around to doing it, but I finally did it and I got one of them done so I could prove that I could do it. <laughs> I'll probably do another one on the channel so you can just kind of see what I did. Uh, it was very simple, but I'm really excited about it and I know you can't smell it, but it smells so good and it's sitting in my storage in our workshop for a while it's just made the workshop smell really good in there and i'm kind of sad it's gone but hopefully it'll make my booth smell that good that'd be great 
put that on the little tidbit tray. Ah, oh, it's looking good. This Tupperware shelf just makes me happy. This probably makes me happiest though, because I just think that's really cute. It's coming along. I think it looks good. I put a few dresses up too that I got at the bins the other day, and they look really nice. Very happy about it. It is now time to go do a little goodwilling. Now we are probably gonna have to meet somebody across town here really soon, so I don't know how much goodwilling we're gonna be able to fit in here. So we're starting out at one that we know usually does as well, just in case this is it. We've got the highest chance to score here, so stick around. So I'm pretty sure this lamp is from Target, but I really want it. Oh my gosh. Hello. It's only seven bucks. That's a, that's a bargain. Check it out, the bag toys. There's just not a lot, but this is pretty cool. Two large Nerf clips. One of them is actually a Fortnite clip, so we're gonna go ahead and get that. That's gonna be good. But that's all I'm seeing. I don't see anything else, except this rounded Rubik's Cube is pretty cool. That face you make whenever you get a Christmas sweater and it's really, really itchy. Check out this giant bean bag. It's huge, I can't even get it on my camera. Look at this though, this is even better. It is called Le Pouf. All right, I scored. Today's find of the day is a blue cornflower coffee pot for $3. These babies do sell. They are very tricky to list because um, this one is not that one, but there are plug-in ones. And this is a stovetop one. Stovetop ones, not dangerous. The plug-in ones, super dangerous. So eBay doesn't like you selling those, but you have to like word it in a way that eBay is like, oh yeah, 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 it's stovetop, it's fine. So it's a good one. So it turned out to not really be the best day to come and shop at this Goodwill because they're doing something rather specific today. They're not restocking, they're destocking. They're going through the whole store looking to see carts all over the place with clothes and whatnot. And they're taking out all the old items. So they're not bringing out any new product today, only getting rid of old stuff. So there's not gonna be a lot to look at, but I'm still gonna check the games out real quick. There's a lot of, the, the first couple things I grabbed was like, ooh, nice, I'd like to get this. We're empty, so, you know, Scooby-Doo, rip. It's all ripped. Most of these games are actually gone. This is really cute. It's like a little enamelware bucket. And I really like it. It'd be a cute little planter, but there's a tag on the bottom that does make it seem like it's from Target or something. So we won't get it. I wish it was more vintage-y, but it looks it. All right, hungry, hungry hippos. So I found some corningware that's very interesting. I've never seen this pan before, but it is in rough shape. And it doesn't have a pattern on it, so it's definitely not something I'm gonna get. But if I found that one with a lid in any kind of pattern, I'd be really excited. This is a piece I've never seen before either. It's a skillet. It's also been very well used. Check this out. We already checked out. Hannah bought a pot and I got some clips. And I dug through all of the CDs here and found not one, but four PlayStation games. And I'm pretty certain that I don't have any of them. Top Gun, Fire at Will, Moto Racer 2, Knockout Kings 2002, Freestyle Motocross, McGrath vs. Pastrana. The conundrum now is that this is at $17, and at $20 we get, you know, four bucks off. So I think we're gonna go ahead and get these Star Wars books, just call it even. Being as we're not gonna be able to squeeze in our normal amount of 13 today, I was really just certain that this stop was just gonna go terribly. But it, it lightened up right at the end for me, some PlayStation 1 games, heck yeah. <laughs> All right, we've got time to squeeze in one more since it's on the way home, check it out. So I'm looking for the games and there are a couple, but really next to nothing. Now there is a $20 copy of Tetris World for the GameCube in the lockbox. It's literally the only thing in there, strangely enough. Uh, so that's kind of a bummer, but I wonder if we can't repeat my PlayStation finds. If we can just pick them out of there. I kind of doubt it, but it would be cool just making a PlayStation 1 kind of day. Oh, look at this teeny tiny vase. It's like for a teeny tiny dandelion. It's so cute. Always with the pops, they just keep showing up. We got two, two different Twilight pops. Which is interesting because Edward, wow, all three of them, that's kind of wild. Really? Ooh, she pretty. A little more than I'd like to spend, but she's pretty. Check this out. Somebody ripped that open faster than they could get it out here. 
put that in their pocket and ran. So these pops are not like the craziest find ever, but like 20 bucks for one of them, they're, they're all right. They're gonna be worth five bucks for my toy booth. We'll definitely get them resold. Yeah. What'd you say the one was worth? He's about 20, he's about 26 and he's about 10. Okay, so he's not really worth getting, but we're gonna get him because we'll just maybe sell the whole set or something. How do you not get the whole set? <laughs> I didn't really give the toy section the best look over, so maybe let's go give it a one more again, see if there aren't some more of those. Check this out, you see these? <laughs> well, this is pretty crazy. Actually, I can't believe all three of these are here. These are not that old. They're from Kohl's, but for $2 a piece, that's the perfect kind of thing to sell in one of my specific toy booths. And then I think there's a, yeah, there's another one of him. I wonder if there's more. Oh my God, no way. No way. What if I shouldn't just get all of them? Okay, so I just found these two lids here. They're definitely like bread loaf pan lids. The question is, whether or not they are compatible with the bread loaf pans that I have at home. I think it's worth getting it to try, but it is a bit of a risk. They may just be absolutely pointless and no reason to buy them. They're $4, well, $5 for both of them. Um, I don't like, I don't like buying things for no reason. So I feel nervous getting them, but these are so rare. If they fit, that'd be insane. That was a really interesting stop. I bought a bunch of plushies. What'd you get? Got some lids. Some lids. <laughs> so we're sitting in the parking lot right now because we're going to meet somebody and they're going to buy an NES from us and uh, we're going to get some of that cash money. <laughs> You're welcome to take so, a peek at it all. Everything works? Yeah, yeah, it's good. I pulled out 80. Do you want me to wait? Do you want me to go grab another 10? Um, my, my wife was the one relaying messages and I was at work. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, if you could, that'd yeah. be great. Do you want me to leave this with you? Sure. Or do, do you have a, like PayPal or Venmo? I have PayPal, yeah. Cool, let's just PayPal the 10, that'll be easier for you. Okay, we're back home. Pretty easy day of thrifting, but the spread of things that we got was kind of peculiar, I think. I don't know. <laughs> let's just talk about everything that we got real quick and then we'll open this package right here from Andrew from Texas, which I'm excited about because like the weight is very specific. It's not really heavy, but it's not like paper light. Interesting. It, it makes some thud noises. I don't know what's in there. So I'll go first. I bought all of these brand new Peanuts plushies. Two Snoopy, two Woodstock, and one, what's her name? Lucy. Lucy. I don't know why I wanted to say Sally, but she is the one who moves the football. <laughs> and uh, they were all two bucks a piece, and uh, that's kind of been one of the more surprising things that I've sold way more than I thought I would have at our toy booths, is newer plushies. Now don't get me wrong, every time I put a vintage plushie in our toy booth, it sells quickly. But like, I've got a bunch of pretty new, like uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarf, Dwarf plushies that I got at the Goodwill bins right before the coronavirus shut down. And uh, they all sold pretty quickly. And every time we put Care Bears in there, even if they're newer ones, they sell pretty quickly. So probably $10 a piece, easy in my toy booth. And uh, I'm trying to expand on that a little bit more and just have stuff that I know people will buy. Uh, it's a little bit difficult though, because if you've ever really paid attention to the fleshy sections at our Goodwills, they're madness. It's they they're just madness. So uh, I saw those, and right away when I saw there were multiple ones, I was like, I'm gonna get them, because then now someone's gonna be tempted to buy all one of each. And yeah, for sure, especially be... like the doubles are Woodstock and Snoopy. People are gonna be like, I'll definitely just buy Woodstock and Snoopy. Exactly. All right. So what did you get? I got some lids. These are, I'm guessing, bread, loaf, tin lids. Um, I don't know if they're Pyrex or Corningware, but I'm hoping it'll fit, because it looks right. <laughs> In the same way that I collect different pieces of video games to complete them later, Hannah has been collecting pieces of dishes and very successfully completing them later. It's especially awesome when you do it with Tupperware. 100%. We'll bring home a lid, next week we'll find a container without a lid, and it all works out. All right, I bought this bag, one, one toy bag, and uh, it's kind of funny this was in there. If you didn't watch yesterday's episode, go back and watch it and you'll know why this was a day too late. Uh, yeah. But that's not why I buy, bought it. Neither, neither is this uh, Zelda-ish little flute. It's not an ocarina, but it's green and it's wood, fancy. wooden. It's I don't know what it is. Uh, I'd play it, but I don't have any sanitizer. This is why I bought the bag. A uh, Fortnite clip, Nerf clip. Uh, mm -hmm. 
if I find this gun without the clip now, it'll, that's why I bought it. Same reason she bought those dishes. Uh, those Nerf gun, uh, Fortnite Nerf guns have done killer for us in our toy booths. I, I can't keep them in stock. So I would not have ever hesitated to buy Even if it was twice as much as this bag was, I would have bought it. And then I resell these for almost, ten, what, 10 bucks? Yeah. Eight, eight bucks, 10 bucks? I can't remember. I never remember how much we sell each individual clip for. We have a note on our phones that we write down the prices for Nerf parts, so we don't have to look them up on eBay every time because we never remember. What else did you get? I got this Corningware coffee pot, and I've sold a couple of these. This is a smaller version. Yeah, it, I was like, that looks squatty. It is. So the one I normally get is about this tall, and uh, but it's the same thing. It's got the little little uh, coffee maker bits on the inside. Oh, I heard something rattling around there as well. I was opening it. I didn't know it was a whole thing, but yeah, that's, uh, let me tape off here. It's a bit dirty, but. I explained this a little bit already, but this one's a stove top, not the plug-in ones. I refuse yeah. to buy the plug-in ones. They're, they're yeah, they're a bit, they're, they're, that technology is a bit outdated how they used to make those, but, uh, what else did we get? I will save the games for last. Two Star Wars books. I don't sell these a ton but usually when someone comes into my booth they buy four or five of them at once so anytime they're this cheap i buy them especially that's usually how i get myself to that 20 dollar coupon when we spend 17 dollars and we just need to spend three more and get the coupon to get it all cheaper than we would have bought it without the other item it's usually how i fill those holes yeah those star wars books. those are basically free pretty much so uh, that just leaves, besides the games, the three tops. Now, this is interesting. I don't know exactly what it was. I think I read maybe the author of the Twilight books is finally re releasing some other Twilight book. Maybe maybe that was like the from the point of view of another character. I don't know, and I don't need to know. But I know that for some reason, Twilight has been back in the public eye a little bit. They're like super trending on Amazon Prime for whatever reason, on Prime Video. It's like one of the most watched things on Prime right now. So I don't know if that's why these are up a couple dollars or if they always were just $20, $25 pops. But we bought all three of these today because they, and I, I get excited when we find $20, $25 pops. Because when they're $100 pops, we sell them on eBay. When they're $20, $25-ish, we put them in my toy booth. And I like having a few nicer pops in my toy booth. So those were awesome. It's cool. I'm, I'm continually excited to keep finding when we keep finding pops because... We never found them before, and I mean, I looked, I, or even if I didn't look, I, I would have noticed them. Uh, but something, something's making them show up a lot, and it's not like oh, they're not popular, so everybody's ditching them. That's not what it is at all. Our Goodwills, for some reason, have inherited a considerable amount of collectibles. It's true. It's something. I, I, I wish I knew what it was specifically, but I, I don't really know anybody that works at Goodwills or works at corporate. Something's going on there. Somebody, some shop, something's donating warehouses of stuff to Goodwill and they're sprinkling it out on us hey. as, as time goes by. All right, that just leaves my video games. It's just that PlayStation 1 haul. But man, anytime I can bring home four PlayStation 1 games that I don't have is a good day. So, um, Freestyle Motocross McGrath versus Pastrana. I'm assuming that's Travis Pastrana, but I'm sure maybe someone will correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, what is that? Knockout Kings 2000. Very nice. And then Moto Racer 2. Very good. And Top Gun Fire at Will, which I'm kind of excited about. Uh, just because the case on that one looks awesome. And that was really that first Goodwill. I was like, I'm not going to find nothing. And uh, Hannah, I, I was like making eye contact with Hannah checking out. And I was like, oh, there's some PlayStation 1 games. That's how that worked out. All right, set some of that over there. We're going to open up this here box from Andrew, and I'm excited about it. I have big scissors. We'll cut. We'll cut all of it. All right, let's start to make sure there's not a note. What did, no. <laughs> I thought you saw something right off the bat. She saw the bubble wrap. I saw bubble wrap. Here, here you cat. Go lay in the corner and play with your bubble wrap. I love the pillows too. Well, it keeps getting better. All right. Nice. Start pulling things out of there and show, okay. them, show them to the camera. Ooh, okay, I peeked. Stop peeking. I don't know what this is, though. That is the yellow Ninja Rangers. or It's Power Rangers, but the movie where they were ninjas. Hold on. I just, I peeked too. You didn't even get it all. Oh, yay! Somebody, I saw one of these. I saw the Blue Ranger one uh, in a bag, zit in a bag at Goodwill the other day, and I said on the video, and someone was like, no, that's a, it's a... Voltron or something, but it wasn't. It's 
when they were ninjas, they had different zords from the original ones. Did you find a note? I did, so here's, here's that. It's not much, but I'm pretty sure y'all can use all this, including the bubble wrap. Sincerely, yes! <laughs> Andrew from Texas. And then he put his Discord name on there as well. So it's old Tubek. Some of you guys who are on our Discord are going to... It's a little bit hard to get into focus, but... I recognize that name. Yeah, he's a regular member of the Discord. So go join if you haven't already. We got more bubble wrap! Yay! All right, keep going. Here is something rolly. Uh, Tiny Tunes. Oh, cool! Very nice. Um... That's pretty cool. I, I, what are the characters? The duck and the pig? Plucky and Porky. Plucky and Porky. I knew you'd know. I always get the Looney Tunes and the Tiny Tunes mixed up. That's oh, that's in Buster! Definitely the Tiny Tunes. I named my first stuffed animal Buster because it was a bunny. Of course you did. I did. That's for you. Oh, and it's one I don't have. Hold on, we can pop this in right now. It's a Dragon Ball VHS. It's Kid Boo. So this is when, <laughs> this is when uh, Boo is resurrected. And he's resurrected as a human so that Goku can fight him in the tournament and see if he could actually beat him because he didn't exactly beat him originally. It's pretty cool. He's a reincarnation of that pink character. This dude, well, kind of. It's really complicated. If you've ever watched Dragon Ball Z, you know it's complicated. But let's go ahead and pop this in. Keep going. Alrighty. I'm very curious what this is. It's a big, big, big piece. <laughs> It's a clock for customizing. That's so cool. Uh, it's Ooh. for uh, medication. I can't really see it behind the Onivega Palaparadone extended release tablets. Uh, it's a clock, but um, Andrew sent this to me because he knows that I like to customize clocks. And quite funny, right beside you're not gonna be able to see it because it's off camera, but my clock wall is right off camera, right there. It looks. Very Dragon Ball. You're not going to be able to see that either. It's too small. Very small. <laughs> I bought that. I've been wanting a TV like that because it's small. Like the screen on it is like nine inches. It's a nine inch screen. It's like even, like you expect like, you know, 13 to 15. This bad boy right here is like nine. It's teeny. We've got to turn, turn the sound off so we don't get a copyright strike. Uh, but yeah, I'm very happy to have that on the shelf. This will probably play for the next week, Andrew. Thank you. I think right. there's one thing left. Is oh, this? Wow. It's a plastic table cover. Well, we gotta open it now. Is that gonna be our new look? What we Bruh, clean the table off. <laughs> I'm glad you said that. All right, get it out of here. <laughs> it's like I'm tired of looking at that dirty white table. Bruh. Put Yu Gi Oh on it. Show it to him first. Got the Yu-Gi-Oh symbols in the middle, and then it's got Yu-Gi-Oh and Exodia and repeating. Oh, and Dark Magician. What is the little one? And uh, what's the other Dark Magician? I don't know. Dark Magician Knight. Put it on the table. Andrew, you were right in your note when you said that we could probably use this. <laughs> now I'll keep my table clean. That's awesome. Well, is that everything? I think so. Let me double check the box. Yep. All right. Well, we got the note this time. Sometimes we skip the notes because we're terrible people. But Andrew, thank you so much. And everybody watching, thank you so much. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for going thrifting with us today. Thanks for hanging out with us earlier in the day. When we got a little work around the house done, which is what I'm about to get back to now. I've got a lot more of it to do. Uh, especially now, <laughs> i got to put all this stuff away now. Uh, but it's good. That work I did at the beginning of the video kind of helped out because I've got some more sorting stuff to put all those toys in. Especially the Power Rangers. I just made a Power Ranger basket. Because I'm a grown man and that's what I do. But thanks for hanging out with us, guys. Do me a couple of favors before we get out of here. Pretty please, I beg of you, hit the subscribe button. We've had a really few good days, or well, a few weeks really, for subs. And I'd just like to keep going. The bigger we get, the more able we'll become to make these kinds of videos and get a little crazier and do different things. So help us out. If you haven't hit that subscribe button already, please do. Uh, also, before we go... Go check out the Discord. Like I said, the link for it's below. You can go click on it, and it'll take you right there. And you can chat with us and share pictures over there of your recent thrift finds, etc., etc. Also, before we go, check out TendosTrash.com. We don't sell awesome Hulk shirts like this, but I wish we did. It's my favorite shirt. I want to show you a trick. I'm a 400-pound man, and I can still do this. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big Hulk shirt, and I'm, I don't know. It has nothing to do with our merch store, but do go check out our merch before we go. TendosTrash.com. 
That's it. The last thing I guess I could tell you is that we do post daily videos here on the channel. So come back tomorrow because we'll probably do something quite similar, if not the exact same thing tomorrow. So until then, guys, peace out.